and welcome to today's live stream we are working on somewhere over the rainbow and your girl is four minutes late because i decided to take a thinking shower do you know what i'm talking about when you just sit there and think and i lost track of time and when i got out it was 11 55 so i had five minutes and i thought i could make it no i couldn't so i apologize for that for the thinking shower. So let's get right to it. Pam Beasley is back. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. So we have a principle. It's a free principle for everyone who is watching the live streams. And uh, please hit the like button as well. That helps YouTube recommend this to more people. Is the background loud? My window's open. Bree, what's up? Let me show you why my window's open. There's a little kitty who likes it. Tequila Ben is here from Waikiki. Let me close that window. It's so loud. Mama, mommy, excuse me. I'm sorry. It's so loud. I'm sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> let's drink to Brie, who just gave a super chat. Thank you so much, Brie. Let's drop some hearts in the chat. Mm. And let's run through Africa because that was yesterday's song. And then around the 10 minute mark, we'll start today's song. Hi, Karen. I got your recommendations for gospel music. So thank you. I know I don't want to upset Kit Kat either, but she's still okay. She's still at the window. So I think she'll survive. It was just really loud. Huangbo! Hey, what's up? Let's drink to Huangbo. And I think it's time for the red hair. <laughs> Cheers to Huang. Thank you, Chloe. And, okay. So, it's gonna get hot in here. And Eric says, I'm a total beginner. Can you help me choose my first song? I think we can all help you. Almost. 100 likes and not even 10 minutes. Yeah, we're at 98 likes. That's right. <laughs> All right, everybody. What, what would you recommend for a good first song? Whoo. Here we go. Let me grab the ukulele. <laughs> Riptide, Let It Be. Lava is cute for a beginner. You read my mind. I was thinking lava. Somewhere with a rainbow, brow eyed girl. Chantal, are you trolling already? <laughs> Good afternoon from Southern California. What's up? Right back at you. You are my sunshine. Oh, that is a good one. Londola says, another good lesson coming. I know it. Chantal is dabbing. Oh my gosh. I. You're cooler than me. You're so much cooler than me. Okay, I can't, I can't with you. <laughs> Okay, so the intro is... Okay, and we do that four times. One, two, okay? So let's try just to do a run-through of the song. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll do song requests a little later if that's okay, because then the chat just turns into song requests and I get overwhelmed and I can't focus. Here we go, one, two, intro, four times, ready, go. One, two, again, go. One, two, Priyanka, thank you, go. One, two, one more time, Dennis. Bye. 
intro like one, two, this verse is shorter. Go. And go to the chorus to G minor, go. And uh, yes, if you've just joined, we're doing a recap of yesterday's song. And we are drinking to Mark, who just gave a super chat. Can you come do some teaching at the Jersey Shore? Oh my goodness, I would love that. Mm -mm -mm. Today, I am uh, drinking cherry. It was such a workout. Ah. Today's song is not such a workout. Um, by the way, I added the tab to that one song that got copyrighted. <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but um, I added the, um, the tab to it. And if you're a patron, you, um, drinking is right. The intro was the easiest part this time. Nice. I added the tab to that one song that talks about a hotel in that one state where I live. Um, the tab is now on the free principles and Jackie just added the link to the principal and both are in Borough. Where have you been? I feel like I haven't seen you in a little bit. Let's drink to both. Thank you. Let's drop some yellow hearts or orange hearts. My goodness. Thank you all. These super chats are awesome. They're especially nice because I share revenue um, with all the creators of the songs. That's just kind of the nature of a music tutorial channel is that the songs are not mine and um, and so part of my revenue goes to the creators or the people who own them thank you for the tab for that one song I'm excited yeah I wrote it in double time or half time so that it'd be really clear to read um, but yeah the tab for that one song is in there and today we're doing somewhere over the rainbow so you help me thank you so much thank you Chloe so let's um, look at the tab or look at the sheet music for Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Most of the song operates on eight beats. The tab plus MP3 combo for that song was a really nice and great idea. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so the patrons got a audio, but I got feedback on the audio. Someone said it'd be nice to have a accountant. And then I'm going to try and loop it so that it repeats over and over again for you. So, I mean, it was my first time making an audio like that and it got such a good response. So I'm willing to do more of those for the patrons, like free tabs for everyone and free audio practice audios for the patrons. So that's kind of where I'm thinking of taking this 
And plus, I love the software that I work with to make those tabs. So it's really fun for me too. And your printable isn't printing. Can you tell us why it's not printing? Is it the printle, the printle, the printer, or is it something else? And Super Chatters, thank you so much for your donation. I really appreciate you taking the time to give one of those. It helps the channel. Go to file, download. Thank you, Adam, for helping. Okay, so today we're doing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And you're not going to believe it. I found mistakes on the versions online. And I could not believe that. That's such a standard song that not enough people would make recommendations to fix it. Maybe I'm wrong. But let me show you. If you're looking at the sheet music, there's a part that has a D minor 7. And I have it resolve or move to a G. It's like about where it says they're really saying I, I love you. They had the, it going D minor 7 to D to then the next line C. That doesn't make musical or theoretical sense. So I made it go to a G and then a C. But correct me if I'm wrong. I might be able to become a patron. Sweet. Okay. So... We have several parts. Hello from Wales. Hi. Several parts. So let's work on that intro. And then I'm going to try and teach you that strum. And if you have a low G uke, you'll sound even more like brother is. Which is fun. And my favorite chord in this song is when the E7 comes in. It just sounds so good. And all of these are eight beats each. Okay. I'm so happy, no be flat. Yeah, we had to take a break from be flat. <laughs> I'm patron, but I keep forgetting to go and check things in there. I think that there's a notification you can turn on for the patron or Patreon so that you get notified every time. And let us know where you're watching from. Maybe there's somebody else from where you're watching. I hate the part. It's the hardest thing to do to change to E7. But it sounds so beautiful when we change that. Now, we have the U section, which also sets up the stage for the verse. So, if we can do this U section, um, you'll be able to do a lot of the verse. This is also eight beats, and this is the ooh section. The ooh, 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 ooh. Everyone should like because it helps. Thank you. Yeah, it really does help. Let's get those 150 likes. And then the verse looks a lot like this actually let's just work on this for a bit and then we'll add some more then let, let me write the quote charts but you have access to the free principle in the link down below so please check that out i've also added a link to the smart ukulele that i'm using today and um anytime that you buy anything from amazon and you got there from my links amazon gives me a cut so if you end up buying i don't know some underwear or whatever, but you ended up going there through my links, Amazon gives me a little cut at no additional cost to you. So that's another fun way to support the channel that doesn't cost you anything more. I don't know how Amazon does that. Jeff Bezos, crazy. But uh, you don't have to. I mean, I like to support brands that are not on Amazon either. That's why we have a little giveaway going on with the Magic Fluke. I'm not getting paid to promote them or anything. I just think it's a good ukulele and it's from like a mom and pop shop. So I just wanna promote good instruments and let you guys know about something that I love that I think you'll love. I do allow some, ch some um, brands to sponsor tutorials 
it feels really weird if I offered like to sponsor a review. That feels super weird to me. But tutorials I'm fine with because I just say like, oh, this video brought to you by Enya or this video brought to you by Lava, you know, then it's not so weird because it's up to you and you're hearing the instrument, you know, but I might stop doing that. I don't know. It feels weird. I know I shouldn't feel weird about it, but it does. Okay. Can you explain Amazon time one more time? People are asking how to. So I have links down below to Amazon and what um, what basically happens is that if you go to Amazon from one of my links and buy something that I'm recommending sweet, I get a cut. But if you end up going to Amazon and buy deodorant or underwear and you don't buy what you got there from amazon still gives me a little commission because they're saying like oh you brought us this person and they ended up shopping it's not a lot it's like sometimes it's like two dollars or five dollars but if you know 10 people are spending to where i get five dollars and it's fifty dollars so it increases us only or canada too i think it's anyone who ends up in amazon how does it, it does feel weird, but it does help knowing the, how the you goes on. Oh, are you talking about reviews? Yeah, that's true. Okay, and our strumming pattern, let's call it by the other name. It's called a Calypso strum. It's down, down, up, up, down, up. And the other name that you know for this is Island Strum. So it has two names. I love how C to G and then A minor to F go so smoothly in this song. Okay. So we've got eight beats each. Let's just run through. It, the Amazon thing is good to know. I shop there often. Oh, thank you, Raleen. Okay, let me move this so that it's closer. So I want to make sure you can see. Okay, here we go. Moving the iPad a little bit out of the way. And I linked the iPad down below. I love that I can call the strum something specific. Yeah, it's called the, uh, the Calypso strum. So... Let's just do the moves from chord to chord. I'm just going to say uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, switch. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, C. Go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, switch. Two, three, four, one, two, three, switch. Compared to Africa and uh, Backstreet Boys, this should be like pretty good. <laughs> Let's try again. One, two, one, two, breathing, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, switch, one, two, perfect, sweet. Two, A minor, go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> but it's easy, I'm glad. chill for a second this is actually not the easiest that I've taught but it's gonna feel super easy because we were like playing songs down here like okay 
pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable. And then we went boom all the way up here. It was super difficult songs, difficult song, difficult song, difficult chords, difficult everything. And then now we're here. So maybe we were here in the beginning. And yes, it, it is more challenging. But because you're comparing it to this, it's feeling easier. Hemos comido el sapo ayer. Exactly. We, we ate the frog yesterday. You needed a song like this. B's been kicking our tails lately. Be the teacher or be the chord. Okay, now let's go to the ooh section. We have that C to E minor switch that yesterday we said if you wanted to make it a little bit easier on you, you can do C this way with the index finger ready for E minor. It does not affect the sound. Okay, so C to E minor. Both? <laughs> Okay, so here we go. What, what is that sapo? Is, is that what sapo is, frog? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, one, two, C, go. One, two, three, four, one, two, E minor. Call try. Yes, someone answered your question. F. teach a little bit of theory. Here we are in the key of C. And the C scale is easy. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then it repeats back to C, okay? Our Roman numerals, we talked about this before. You got major and minor chords. The major chords are, we don't even need that B, it's not even in the song. Uh, the major chords, have the big Roman numerals and the minor chords have the little ones. So that means I need to make this one minor, this one minor, and this one minor. Okay? Now, this one you can make a seven. You can make it a five seven. And I'm gonna teach you something really cool. In music theory, we have a thing called the cadence. And it's kind of like an ending or resolution in music. And there are two that I want to talk about today. One is a 4-1 cadence. That's a cadence. So going from F to C. F to C. That sounds pretty good as an ending. And there's another one the five, seven to one. This in music is the most complete sounding cadence or ending. Um, ah, here it is. Let me do that again. See how complete of an ending that sounds like? So whenever you see a seventh chord, it always wants to go back to the one. That's why, that's why E7 doesn't always work in a song. Because if we're not in the key of A for E7, then it, it doesn't work where it goes to. So 4-1 four, uh, four is called plagal cadence. I, yes, I think that's, that's right. So here... We go C, G, A minor, F, C, G, A minor, F, back to a C. So that's a little bit of a plagal cadence in there. It's kind of like giving your ear a little bit of resolution. And so here we're going to the verse that starts with a C. So it gives us a little bit of resolution. But if you ever feel like you wonder why does this sound so good, it's actually a musical term. It's called a cadence. Now, um, there, there is a reason why I changed one of the chords from the sources I saw online, and I'll come back to this in a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, what is the 5 1 cadence called? I don't remember either. I don't know why Plagal stuck in my head, too. Here we go. One, two, one, two at the top. Ready to go. We're going to do both lines. Hi, Robin. How are you? That's right, A minor, F, next section, the ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I sang it wrong. I sang that wrong. I want another try. He doesn't do the octave. Okay, so how did that feel? That should have felt pretty good. Now I'm gonna give you something for my advanced people because why not? You can try it if it works awesome. If it doesn't work, save it for later. I would like for you to flick that first down. Like flick it, flick it. So you put your nail kind of under the string and then lift. Now do flick, down, up, up, down, up. Flick, down, up, up, down, up. Go to C cap chord. Flick, down, up, up, down, up. Flick, down, up, up, down, up. Flick, down, up, down, up. Flick, down, up, up, down, up. Flick. If you have a low G, this is sounding really good right about now. Okay, so that'll give you like Yes, is used as a low G and he has that little boom, that bass note that he hits. And so if you've got that, you're hitting that with um, with that little flick. So let's try it with the flick and we'll go slower, okay? And if that was fast for you, don't try the flick just yet. Save that for a later date. Let's just try, okay? Here we go. One, two, one, two, slower from the top, two, ready, go. beginning of each chord I would say yes like one flick da -dun, da -da -da -dun, da -dun, da -da -da, flick da -da -da. so only on beat one out of all the eight beats and then someone here is playing guitar and asking they said they don't have a capo um a capo on the fifth fret gives you ukulele I know you just said you don't have a capo but if you can make one out of a pencil and a hair tie that might work I down strum with the finger and up strum with the back of the thumb is that super wrong I don't think so. I don't think that's wrong. Like just make sure you're not carrying any tension in your hand. 
once you get the hang out of it it sounds really cool it really does sound good i don't have a low g here oh gosh and low g's are my favorite that's right okay let's try that again same tempo that we went right now it was comfortable okay let's do those two lines breathe two Continue practicing the flick. Um, actually, I do have a low G in my living room. Let's go get it. And that, that way I can turn on the hot water because I didn't get a chance to. Okay, and hit the like button if you haven't done so yet. Hitting the like button helps promote the video. Okay, let's go turn on the hot water. Okay, there's still water in here. And it's fully covered, so we'll hear it whistle. Do the whistle. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I have a low G here. And we are going to hear what it sounds like with low G. And then if you want a low G string set, I'll recommend some right now. Okay. All right. This is a little tilted. Hello, hello. Okay. Let me tune it. So this is the Flight Victoria. This is a tenor, okay, and it has a scalloped cutaway. I believe this is a spruce top. Not sure what the back and sides are. I think it's acacia. I think it's acacia. I love acacia, actually. I think that's why I love this uke so much. Okay, so let me uh, play the, woohoo, 200, let's take a drink. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so... this string oh it might be my jacket oh, oh, oh. let's remove the jacket all right i'll put this oh i'll leave this on since we just hit 200 okay right doesn't that sound so good 
You're bad for my bank balance. <laughs> it's the ukulele. It's not me. It's the ukulele. And thank you for the 200 likes. Okay, so let's try that at a slow tempo. First line and second line. And then we'll um, add the verse. One, two, one, two. One, two, top line. that that low G makes I just wanted to share that with you but if you don't have it that's okay you should practice it anyway just in case you ever do get a set of low G strings then you then you're good uh, and can I set up low G with a tuner app no because low G string set it's if you notice your strings there are some that are really thin and there are some that are really thick. The thin ones are the high sounding ones. And the like thicker they go, the more low they sound. And so with low G, you've got a pretty thick uh, string. My water's ready. Go ahead and take this opportunity to take a screenshot. I'm back. I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again. Okay. So now we're going to add the verse. And I'm sorry if I missed any questions. I think my moderators are helping to answer. So make sure you're checking the chat. Let's add ourselves a verse. Okay, so we're doing the Calypso strum or island strum. Okay. We're looking a lot like the intro minus that E7. So if you weren't liking the E7, you're in luck. Okay, so we've got, let me move it over here. C, E minor, F, C, C, E minor, F, C, eight beats everything, F, C, G, A minor, F. And we're going to do this all two times. Okay, so this happens two times, and we're at the verse, and it is eight beats, everything. Okay, let's try just the chords, and then we'll add the singing. Um, here we go. One, two, we're right here. One, two, one. Oh, somebody said a PayPal, uh, 
donation. Uh, Kenneth, let's give blue hearts to Kenneth. Thank you. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. <laughs> So I can just buy a low G string set and put them on my tenor. Exactly, Jack. Just make sure that they're meant for tenor ukulele. I have um, metal strings on one of my ukuleles. Actually, on my favorite ukulele. Carrie, thank you. Let's drop some yellow hearts for Carrie. The closet of ukuleles. This is my crown jewel. Alrighty, y'all. Let's take a drink for that donation. Let's drink together. It's a party. Uh, Carrie, or Gotti, to your health. Cheers. This is really hot, so I'm gonna slurp. <laughs> Um, so when you buy low G strings, you might get some that are thicker, um, and you're not, might not have space for it. So these are, both are Dodario's, which I love Dodario strings, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag not an ad. I just love their strings. And this is why I like not being sponsored because I can say what I want. <laughs> This one is wound, meaning it's like a steel string. You see that? And this one is unwound or just nylon. Okay. So um, I'll play on this ukulele just so we can hear it, just because I love it. This is like my fancy day ukulele. <laughs> um, these tuners too, man. They move like butter. Okay, so let's do... Let's do O section and into a verse, okay? We're scaffolding. O section. Here, look up, look up. There we go. One. Da Dario strings, Elisa. Da Dario. One, two, the O section. One, two, C, go.
Okay, so that was another section. Um, there are some questions I couldn't get to because I was trying to focus. Um, let me try to get to them now. Uh, yes, this good this guitar. This ukulele is made by Pono. I use metal. I also use metal sounding on my flight. Um, I have a question. I play guitar leadless, so essentially a guitar that sounds like a uke. If I play, oh, I have no idea about anything guitar lele related. So if somebody can answer that question, is if I play a C, is that the same as C for a uke on guitar lele? I don't know. Joey is asking about scaffolding. So scaffolding is when you basically, as a teacher, when you build a ladder to make learning easier for your students. So I could have started and just put all of this down and said, okay, let's play from the top without explaining any bit of it. But what I like to do is I write part of it, we play it together. That's scaffolding. I'm building a ladder to help you get to the level where we're all playing the song straight through. Um, uh, I almost had a job at the Dario. Ooh, you would have been the Dario sugar daddy. What's the difference between metal wound strings and regular ones? They have a slightly different sound, I would say, and I like the sound of the metal string on this uke. Oh, that's a rich sound. Who makes that ukulele? Pono. Uh, Living Water Loji. You like those strings? Okay, I haven't heard of those strings, but if Lauren's recommending them, they're good. Lauren is a sweet person. Would not guide you the wrong way. Um... Hint from your tutorial. It's good to play C with two fingers. First on thread and second on third thread. Then it's easier. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. C to E minor. See how that index finger stays there. Okay. Amo el recurso de tocar la última cuerda sola primero. Me queda divino. Que bueno que te gustó. This person saying they love that little flick. The size is tenor. And I think the ukulele site. Literally, I think that's what they're called, the ukulele site. I think they have the, uh, Pono ukuleles. It's not the C on, uku on the guitar. Okay. Can we add an F9? Is this the ninth here? Pinky on the third fret. Can you let us know what the ninth is? I would love to add that. Where can I find something that tells me the equivalent chords? I know my friend Terry from You Like the Pros does guitar little tutorials, but I have no idea. I'm finding it so hard to get from F to E7. Okay, I don't play E7 a lot. Okay, 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 okay. I'm all cut up. Okay, Elisa. Oh, Donna just sent $10 on PayPal. Let's drink to Donna's health and drop some blue hearts. This is steaming. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of there. Yeah, I like everything cherry blossom. Okay, so Elisa, look up real quick and anyone struggling with that E7, this is what I want you to do. Uh, <laughs> you cheated. Um, I want you to do that F and then look up, look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Angle the hand inwards and land the index finger first, then the other two. So you have to look, look, look. It's a door hinge. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, alrighty, please hit the like button because we are approaching 300 likes pretty quickly, which means that we get extra printables on the printable resources. I visited the ukulele site in February and before the lockdown and, and got a call aloha. They are awesome. I bet they are. Ukulele people are awesome. Okay, so let's now try intro, verse. I mean, intro, ooh, and verse. Intro, ooh, and verse. Here we go, top. And just to review real quick for anyone who just showed up, instead of doing a down right here, we're doing a flick of the first string closest to your face. So it's flick, down, up, up, down, up, flick, down, up, up, down, up, flick. And like me, if it's not always perfect, that's all right. Just keep going. <laughs> Don't be stingy, folks. Hit the like button. Okay, here we go. One, two, <laughs> one, two, one, two, ready, go. Ooh, that bass. Ooh, love it. So cool. I was on the phone. 
home when she was saying look up, look up. I know you guys. I know you're not breathing too, so breathe. Breathe again. Ooh, section. Second line. And does the flick keep going throughout the entire song? If you can play it, if you like the sound of it, if you want to add it, yes. If you just want to accent it in the beginning and then once we start the verses, then go back to like chill strumming, then you're good. And woohoo, Petit Sarsal just gave a super chat, a super chat, just given by Petit Sarsal, that's what's up. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. This is my mom's song. This is like a really great song to learn and to serenade people with. Titus Stansberry. Did you change or add a photo? I feel like I have in my mind Titus with like a teal, you know, teal color. And now there's a photo and I'm like, hmm, was that always there? Oh, range girl. I don't have range, but doing this every day has been helping me sing. I never used to sing, but for teaching, it's a lot easier if I'm singing. It helps everybody. Every uke player must know this song. How do you hold your tenor uke? My back is killing me. Okay. Let me, um, let me, uh, let me drape my blanket over me because this dress is a little low cut just in case there are any children watching. Um, I, I had worn it because I was gonna wear the jacket, but then I closed the window so it got hot. Okay. So this is how I hold the uke. Normally it's here, like below where my shoulder is. And this is the form that's doing all the work. I could drop the hand if I need to. That's why I try not to carry a lot of ten tension there. Okay, so try to get this arm to do all the work. Another good way is using a strap. That helps a lot, especially when you strap to the top here. Um, but for 
the purpose of our tutorials, I hold the ukulele this way, like way high. It's not comfortable per se, but I do it so that I can fit the board and the ukulele in my hand. And sometimes I'll strum up here, which looks super awkward when you look at the whole ukulele that I'm strumming up here, but I want you guys to see the hands. The priority is the hands. So that's why I do what I do the way I do it. How about flicking with my thumb and then strumming with my middle and pointer finger? If it does not slow you down, then that's fine. I've just taught some students and when they're trying to flick with the thumb, and then do the rest of the strum, I see it, they stumble. I haven't seen anybody do it successfully yet. That doesn't mean it's not possible. I just haven't seen it. I have two accounts to like and subscribe. Your videos are my other account. I had a teal color. Ah, see, I noticed you guys. And whoop, whoop. Your psychic powers won't be necessary today. <laughs> Thank you. Dave is here. Sugar Daddy Dave, what's up? From Panama. I saw you posted on Uglandia too. Thank you. That is so cool. Okay, let's breathe. Let's drink to Dave and to all of you who are here and yeah i'm watching i'm watching your name and your picture i'm like saving those memories it's like a teacher getting to know the students in the classroom mm -mm -mm. thank you david so generous okay <sighs> next section oh nolan what's up hi nolan how you doing today um, Nolan, is it possible for you to send me that filter you made? I don't know if it's possible, but that was really fun. Let's all drink to Nolan, who's probably just waking up. That little boy in Euglandia is awesome. So Euglandia is a Facebook group that we have. If you feel like Facebook is this like place you don't go to anymore because it's so toxic, join us on Euglandia. It is such a fun space. Like It's the only reason why I go to Facebook anymore because it's so much fun. Can you suggest the brand of ukulele for my first one? Everybody here in the chat, if you could go back and redo everything and start with a really good uke, not expensive, but really good uke, what would it be? Euclandia is lovely. I'm glad you like it. I have some admins that are really on top of staying on that group and uh, being really good about it. So the admins are amazing. Okay, we have that next section. Someday I'll wish upon a star section. C, G, A minor, F. Oh, okay, that's a one, four, six, five. That's like the most common chord progression. And we're doing that twice and then return to verse. Not bad, right? Pretty good. My first ukulele was a Cordoba. And I no longer have it because I gave it to my neighbor. Because she wanted to get started. And I just loved her, loved her, loved her. Like we were best friends when we lived together. Or next to each other. We've lost touch. Not because we're not best friends anymore. But because she's a mama now. <laughs> and uh, just life's changed. But like you still are fond of the people that were in your life or... You know, when they were, if I saw her, I'd be like, oh my gosh, she's so excited. But I don't see her anymore, but she wanted to start playing ukulele and I gave, I wanted to give her a really nice one to start with. Okay, are they eight beats? Let me check, a great question. Um, How cool is that, everybody? Super cool, right? Eight beats. Oh. We just do it twice. So let's do this part right here. Look up. We're gonna do that part two times. Here we go. Someday I'll wish upon a star. Right here, one, 
two, eight beats. Do it twice. One, two, one, two, ready. Go. We got a new section, everybody, and I think it moves every four beats. Let me run it through real quick, and then I'll come back for you, okay? Well, I see trees but then that is the rest of the song okay so this next section that we're doing we're gonna have to switch every four beats by the way if this makes anything easier please check out the um, printable down below there's a link for you to do a printable I'm gonna erase these chords I'm sorry um, but I want to fit the next two sections <laughs> All right, ukulele angel thank you I never saw myself becoming a ukulele person not because i i mean i'm sure a lot of you probably feel the same way like you never thought you'd be playing ukulele um because i was a sax player in college let me erase this and move it up higher i was a sax player in college and i dreamed of playing a string instrument like cello or guitar or something i didn't even think about the ukulele and then when i was gifted one i was like this is awesome See, it sounds so good. Like, it was just, like, mind-blowing. And then when I, I was an elementary music teacher, I thought, like, the kids can do more than shakers. Like, little rhythm shakers and little rhythm sticks. I thought, like, let's give these kids some instruments. So we gave them ukuleles, or I requested ukuleles. Um, and then I thought, okay, these kids need a YouTube channel to learn. And I looked for one and I couldn't find one. And you've heard the saying, if there's no solution, make one yourself. And so I did. And, uh, and so I was making videos for my students and then random people. Y'all were random people to me first at first. <laughs> random people started finding it saying, hey, can you do this? And can you do that? I was like, who are you? These are for my students <laughs> and then I started thinking oh they're my students too let's let's give them what they want and so that's kind of where that started and the rest is history C E minor F C F C E7 A minor is all eight four beats So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. And then we've got F, G, A minor, F. That is eight beats. Don't want to lie to you. That's going to be challenging. And it's basically a lot like... 
Let me see. Hold on. Did I miss something? No. It's a lot like the ooh section, but we're moving really fast. Ooh, did I get a super chat just now? I've been going through all the videos on your channel and they're extremely helpful to a beginner like, like myself. Love and success from India. Rishab, thank you. Let's all drink to Rishab. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It's a teacher's dream come true to host a class and have students come because they want to. Like that is an absolute dream. Okay, so let's practice this section here that we move every four beats. And let me scaffold four different um, levels, okay? A, not A minor, the last one. Oh my gosh, thank you, Noah. That was Noah, right? Um, F, G, A minor, F. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved my booty. F, G, A minor, F. Thank you. You catch my things, thank you. And bye, Katie. So it's, if you're more an absolute beginner, do see this way. One, two, three, four, then switch. One, two, three, four, then switch. One, two, then C, then F go, okay, then C go. Woohoo, Tina Montoya just sent $10 on PayPal. Let's drink and drop super chats. Okay, so if you're an absolute beginner, just give me beat one. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, do not complicate your life. You can still play with this, and it can still sound really dramatic and beautiful. Look. The Let me, where are me? Where, where are me? Where am I? Um, well, I see trees of green and red roses too. So nobody has to know you're a beginner, just be dramatic. Da, 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 da. Da, la, la, la. Do you know what I'm saying? Now, if you're a little beyond that, give me all four beats. The trees are green. Two beats. Just because you're not playing the calypso strum doesn't mean that it doesn't sound good. Okay, so own your level. <laughs> Add flair, everyone. We love drama, exactly, exactly. So, and a little drama. Here's the trick to making the one strum thing sound good. It's not in the face, okay. Well, it is kind of in the face, but it's in strumming and letting it ring. Because I see a lot of beginners do this, and they stop the sound. See how that sounds like? Okay, but I wouldn't say just bye. Like, love you all. Thank you for hanging out. Goodbye. See the difference? It's just like. So that's what, what is in this tea? <laughs> all this energy is coming in all of a sudden. So um, when you're doing the single strum, take your time with it. Make it beautiful. No, um, Elisa, we're doing a calypso strum on this, but I wanted to explain for my newbies, because now I've cut their time in half, right? They're now having to switch every four beats instead of switching eight. When it was eight everywhere, it gave all of us time to switch. But now it's like, boom, switch, switch. It can be overwhelming. So that's why I'm explaining it this way. Plot twist, Bernadette was drinking wine all this time. Oh, we just got a super chat or a PayPal tip from Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. To your health. Now, Anna just showed up and is being all bossy. I sang this song for an exam 18 years ago. Memories. Oh. On ukulele or what instrument? Cheers, 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 cheers. And that was Maria. Thank you, Maria. Are you harmonizing with me today? Okay, and Anna just showed up and it's being all bossy. She wants to see this ukulele. This is a mango wood tenor ukulele with abalone binding, abalone rosette, 
and I think, and it's a Pano, here we go, with closed, I think these might be like planetary tuners, but I'm not sure because they're so soft, and I'm using a wound, um, gee. Marie Westbrook just sent a PayPal. <laughs> Let's drink to Marie. Thank you so much, Marie. That was a $25 PayPal. Thanks, you guys, so much. This life can definitely be recalled. They're all on the top of my um, channel. Okay, let's do this. There's no way out, it's just through it. Okay, PayPal from France doesn't appear on your screen. I guess not. Did you send a PayPal? Oh, I'm sorry if I missed it. Daniel, let's give hearts to Daniel. Daniel, thank you, and let's drink to you. Cheers. Okay, you ready? Daniel, are you ready? Are you all ready to do this four beat section? Here we go. One, two, choose your level. One, two, four beats. One, two, it moves fast, go. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, C, D, seven, A minor. Okay? That went super fast, right? Okay, let's try again. One, two, Two, right, one, two, ready, go. C, E minor, F, C, F, C, E seven, A minor. Okay, hopefully that second run was better because the first one, I know, I know. Some of you were like, wait. <laughs> Let's try it two more times. There's magic in four. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Yes, Stephanie. One, two, ready, go. go back to our eight beat and then our eight beat is natural normal eight beats um notice your humidifier do you always use them with your solid wood instruments yes i do is the fret and pano wider compared to other you um the neck i do not think so it might be but i don't think so but this is also a heavier uke and i mentioned before i like heavier ukes so this is uh, definitely neck heavy, not as body heavy. Definitely not balanced. Okay, I'm a millisecond behind on the E7. Um, if your hand, this one, look up. If this hand is behind, that's okay. Don't let this one fall behind. This one has to feel like a clock. I love it when you call the chords as we're going because I get so stressed with what's coming next. Okay, I'll keep doing it. Thank you. Here we go. One. Two, this is our fourth time. One, two, ready, go. Move. F, C, F, C, E7, A minor, F, stay here. Let's do it again. One, two, the whole line. One, two, one, two, red. E minor. F.
I just did an exercise going from C to A E7, like sliding finger, and that helped a lot. Okay, good. Um, I just bought an ukulele because of lockdown. I'm so happy I'm able to play. Thank you so much. She gave me some questions. Thank you, Emilia, and welcome to the ukulele family. Uh, anyone else here? Because Mr. B taught them ukulele. Who's Mr. B? I've run out of battery and no cord near. I'll have to finish later. All right, Mary. All right. What a wonderful train wreck. Tried, um, tried doing it without looking at my hand. Nice. I'm, can unable a finger or D minor seven. Wait, what does? Can, what? <laughs> can you write that again for me? <laughs> okay. So, um, let me see. Can we do... Let's do this. Look up, look up, look up. We're going to do this line and then hop to this one. Again, I'm, we're doing the verse and then hop to the skies part. Let me write that. Um, this is the skies section or I see trees. Let, let me write that. It's the trees section. Um, trees. Well, I see trees. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at Kit Kat. Look at Kit Kat. <gasps> How cute. Okay, so we're just gonna do this verse one time and then hop to trees. And I'll say hop to trees, okay? Here we go. Verse one, two, one, two, just one verse. One, two, ready. So So let me play it for you real quick and then I'll come back and teach it. The colors of but it's already in the principle. It starts with the colors. If you're watching the principle, it's there. If you don't have the principle, it's totally free in the link down below. The colors of the rainbow. Eight beats. Stop, sorry, sorry, sorry. The colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky Or else on the faces of people passing in I see friends shaking and singing Oh, do you do? They really sing it I love you Okay, so if you're looking at the principle on the first line, we have G, C, G, C, F, C. Remove that F, C at the end. I don't like it. It's just going to be G, C, G, C. And the next line is going to be F, C, F, C. Okay? And uh, I'll, I'll change it right now because I want you to have the right version right now. 
I'm very, very annoyed with myself. G, C, G, C. And then the next part is F, C, F, C. And then F, C, D minor seven. and G7. And all of it is eight beats. Okay, I'm gonna leave this right here so you guys can practice it. And that's the last bit. It's this line right here. Everything is eight beats. Um, I'm gonna change that G to a G7. We hit 300 likes, yay! I'm able to keep up, I feel so proud of myself. Yay, okay. So I'll put on the wig right now and then I'll make a different printable. So let me change that because it sounds like that window is open. It's so loud. Um, I'm very annoyed with myself for making that mistake. I'm sorry, guys. Let me double check it. Oh! The flowers of the rainbow. I'm the last time. People passing by. G could be a G. I'm gonna leave that G, but for the purpose of switching, G7 is easier. She's changing it too, but I think if you printed it, you should correct it. Yes. Um, export it and update it images I'm doing it from here okay this is the Enya Nova ukulele it's a smart no it's not a smart it's um got effects on it already so let's go to the live stream principles and change this right now and upload the brand spanking new nice version. Boom, fixed. Now let me go to Patreon and change it for the patrons. Let me save this new PDF. Sorry guys, and thank you so much for being patient with me about this. But this is like important to fix right now. Usually when it's like a little tiny mistake, like spacing, I'll be like, oh, I'll fix it afterwards. But this one, super important. <laughs> it's our anthem. Okay, I'm going to edit this. So if you're a patron, you'll have the updated version as well. Let me delete the old one and upload the new one. Perfect. Fix for patrons, fix for the link. I'm sorry about that. So now you'll see that it is updated and it has this new section. The G, the seventh is optional. Okay, that seventh is optional. Now, a little bit of theory. We talked in the beginning of class about how the fifth note always wants to go back to the first, right? So C. Let's go up to the fifth note. One, two, three, four, five. 
That's why we have really nice endings from G7 to C. That's this. It sounds like an ending. It sounds really good. Now, here we have a D minor 7. A D minor 7 doesn't really work on the key of C. That doesn't sound like it. So, what I think is happening is that we're borrowing that D minor 7 from G. From if we were in G rules. So G and then some kind of D chord. Down. So I'm thinking a G would be the better landing spot. Now everybody look up here. Look at this C right here. I want you to play this C with your pinky. Okay, so play F normally right now and then go to a C with your pinky I'm glad you love the theory and notice how you're already set in place for that D minor 7 Elise thank you cheers to Elise let's drop some hearts in the chat thank you so I want you thinking from here pinky C so normal F look up F and then pinky C that land your because a D minor seven is almost like an F, so land the F again and then add the ring finger. Now, if you're more of my advanced student, I want you to do the leap of faith to G. If you're more of a beginner right now, plant that index finger, look up on D minor seven, that index finger goes to G7. So normal C for C, G, a middle finger, C, C, M. So what we're learning, Noah, is that depending on where you're going musically, you're going to change what position you're playing that chord in. And so I want you guys, like, yes, in the ukulele, the 30-day uke challenge, which most of you took, I talk about how, like, this finger for the first one, this finger for this one, the same finger for this one. Now, that's, like, giving you the training wheels, like, the that's gonna help you ride your bike safely now i'm taking the training wheels off and asking you to like you just said plan ahead plan ahead okay so i thought you bought um g see what this the i choose g7 that's okay uh d minor 7 to g7 is easy am i crazy or did i see plants swaying in the background this one might have moved a little bit because i moved the piano <laughs> She always knows when we don't look up. And I like that emoji you chose. <laughs> DMG, thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's drink to DMG. Forgot to say thank you for the fur Elise. Always wanted to learn. I thought you guys might want that one in there. Okay, so let me move the camera closer to the board because George likes to take the screenshot. So go ahead and take your screenshot. Five, four three two one okay so let's do that last line yeah and it's the colors of the rainbow so let me say that let me put that here the colors it's all eight beats colors of the rainbow Thank you all for being here, by the way. Here we go. Last line. Eight beats. One, two, eight beats. One, two, one, two. Three. because I didn't refresh and I had all those extra notes in there that were wrong <laughs> okay I love this trick you like this pinky C you need a much bigger board 
we were fine at first but now the lessons are getting way more detailed and so yeah i'm starting to use pinky on c on other songs to strengthen my pinky it's a wimp <laughs> i'm trying to present be present here actively but my wi-fi says no you should have said my wife says no you're the best teacher you make it so understandable thank you thank you stephanie Israel does have recordings where he did not mix verses. In the familiar recording, we all know he mixed up the verses. That's why they don't rhyme. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. Okay, so let's try that part again, okay? Here we go. One, two, they're not all eight beats. One, two, let me check. One, two, ready, go. everything easy so play the C with the pinky at least when you're doing FCFC okay so thank you thank you for catching that mistake so these are four beats I mean eight beats Wow awesome teacher these are eight beats these are four beats these are four beats these are eight imagine if we could all play together how cool that would sound Ok, sos muy divina, siempre de buen humor, gracias por la paciencia. Gracias a ti, siempre estoy haciendo errores, cometiendo errores. Here we go, one, two, one, two, one, two, ready. A minor F G A minor F oh sweet so we go from here look up last line to the second to last line so here to here let's try that let's try that last line that we just did and then move to the next one over on top of it here you go one two add the G one two one two ready go Gracias, Lisa. We stayed on the eight beat okay so let's try it uh tia van tilburg says these lessons are these live lessons are so helpful thank you the extra printable can you do einklein nach music by mozart i can i got lost on the rainbow somewhere big time getting lost on the rainbow is not a bad thing <laughs> 
Um, not gonna lie, I got confused, so I just watched. Okay. Hey, you told us to remind you about the Bella Ciao song, so here I am. Yes, we are doing that. It's tomorrow the 25th. And my Apple Watch died. Let me charge it. <laughs> I didn't charge it. I forgot. Zooms would be so cool. I would be open to doing one every once in a while. I don't know. But y'all better wear clothes. <laughs> okay. So let's do that again. This section to this one. Bottom line to the second to bottom. Here we go. One, two. Hi, Tom. One, two, one, two, G, go. Just so that you would see that we're really really close to the end and everything you've learned to put it all together amrita hi finding it hard to climb over that rainbow you know what i think that if you practice like three days straight you'll see that you'll make it right over the rainbow and all the way down and this is way easier if you have the principle in front of you it's way easier because at least you can see where i'm at you know I'm wondering about that odd D in the diagram. Oh, yeah, why did I add that D? You know what? Because I think I was going to make that D minor 7 a D, and I didn't like it. Do we have anything else because I have to go eat? No, <laughs> you can go eat. <laughs> so can I go to the restroom? I'm sorry, Noah. I'll fix it. But see how that, like, fixing that, I can do that right after because it's not, like, super crucial. This is so helpful. I honestly love this channel. Thank you. Is it the same chords for two songs? With two songs. Do you recommend slowly going over chord changes? Uh, you're struggling with, of course. You're hungry too, okay. And we've done the 100 minute mark. So if you need to go, go ahead and go. And what I'm gonna do is a whole playthrough of it, all right? So if you have the principle, awesome. I'm not gonna shout out chords because I kinda just wanna go through it. Um, so remember this point in the video, it's about 101 minutes in, so an hour and 40 minutes in. Um, that's where we're going to do our playthrough. Okay, but if you need to go eat or the restroom or go live life, that's okay. 
I like physically writing it in my song notebook. I think that that's even better because you're starting to write notes for yourself, but yes, okay. All right, breathe. Let's do a whole playthrough. You can watch the playthrough, by the way, and just come back to it, like, later. Okay. I'm not gonna shout out chords. I'm gonna play it exactly how it is on the principle. The principle's free and it's down below. Okay. I'm gonna get comfortable. One, two, intro.
just want to add a full playthrough of that song just so that you have it for reference. One, because this song is that important, and two, because I thought you would like to come back and practice to it. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Whew. That was so fun. We sounded great, if I may say so myself. <laughs> Got most of it. So much fun. I kept up. Holy moly. You know what? I think it's a really good thing that we came back to this because we did that. Ciao. We did this really early in the live streams, but we didn't dedicate a whole video for it. You kept up. Awesome, Kim. But I'm glad we came back to it because um, it's an important song and we were able to really break it down. And, um, and I think that we needed to build up our playing endurance because when we're practicing, we're able to put our ukulele down and then get it back and put it down and hang out, like not practice. But this was like what I would say would be, um, not a crash course. Thank you, Ben. Thank you so much. Sending hugs to you. Um, let's drink to Ben. But this is the kind of song. Take care. Um, where we spent about a hundred and ten minutes, and the entire time I would say we were playing. So to be able to have the endurance to play for that long is important too, because it's a long song. It's a beautiful song, but it is long, and we are here for a long time. Muchas gracias a ti, Maria. So I'm glad that we came back to it when we did. Now that we have the endurance to play such a long song. Um, and Dennis says, I didn't know I knew that many chords. Yeah, because the chord charts are gone. So you're kind of free flying. There is, there is a chord switch I don't love. If you look, well, I see trees of green and red roses too. The next line under it, well, I see skies of blue. I don't like that FC at the end of it. I might remove it. So I'm going to spend some more time with this and, um, and see if I want to remove that FC there at the end. And you guys play with it too and see if you find the same thing is true. Um, esta canción podemos hacer entre todos. Oh, that's a good idea. This might be the song we can do together. I might do that. I might write the tab for this and then um, we might do this one. I don't know if it'll be first, but I would love to do this one together. Sayara says, yes. I think that we should do the one with the hotel in that one state. <laughs> I think we can do a collaboration for that and I'll just post it on Facebook and Instagram because that intro is really good. And I saw Sayara who's here. I saw you post your video where you were playing it. So I think that would be a fun collab. I need a haircut bad. I'm glad I cut my own hair because I would be going crazy. Motel Arizona, let's call it Motel Arizona, but you guys deep down know that we're talking about that one hotel in the state I live in, okay? Motel Arizona, love it. So tomorrow we're doing Bella Ciao because on the 25th is a holiday for Italy. And so if you wanted to post your covers and dedicate it to Italy, that would be really a beautiful gesture. And, um, so it's kind of fun to think about it doing that doing that. Um I think it's pretty easy. Like C G A minor F easy. And then on the 25th we have Nora Jones. Nora Jones is a jazz musician, piano player. So that's exactly what that means. That we're gonna be playing some jazzy chords, we're gonna be playing some difficult chords. I'm Italian. Oh, so we'll, we'll dedicate it to our Italians here in the audience too. I had my best friend cut my hair. I started looking like Hagrid. <laughs> Do you all know who Hagrid is? I want to make sure we're all in on the joke. So I'm going to pull up Hagrid. Okay. <laughs> this is Hagrid. <laughs> I've been practicing uh, Hey There Delilah, what was that? And I have a question about verse 3. It seems like there's an extra F added on the second line. Is this correct? Let me see. Oh. What page is Hey There Delilah?
You're a ukulele player now, Harry. It's like slide 26. Okay. Um, where is that extra F? Oh my gosh, you guys, what did I do to my iPad? I don't know what I just did. <laughs> oh, I can't see it. When I was looking for Hagrid, I opened this page and now I cannot, like I have a browser open within a browser. How do I close this thing? I want to close that. Oh, I'm just going to quit you. That is so weird. Okay. I thought I was a techie. Okay, so we're looking at Hey There Delilah. And you said there's an extra F somewhere. Because of you, we can do whatever we want to. In verse 3. guys um let's turn to um, okay if you're still here pull out the principle and let's do remember me on slide 29 slide 29 question about the you giveaway will you repost our entry in your insta story as saying i got it i'm gonna repost a lot of them and then if not then i'll dm you saying i got it i'm taking screenshots and saving um all the screenshots and an uh, album on my phone. The ukulele Bible is uh, by Gabriel is a resource I made for patrons. And then because we're doing these lockdown live sessions, I'm saving some for here. And yes, D, that is okay. Okay. How do I tip? Where you chat, there should be a little dollar sign and you can click on that. And whoo Tiffany Wilson just sent a PayPal that's dropped some blue hearts for Tiffany. Cheers, Tiffany. Thank you. Okay, let's play Remember Me. It's on slide 29. I'm going to start it. I'll play through it and then I'll come back and we'll do it again.
Spanish lyrics, please. I don't have the, I don't, I don't, because I have this in, in English and I don't have the chords memorized, bad teacher. Okay, let's do it one more time. I'll say remember on me, come in on that C. And if you want to do a little flick, like we learned today in today's class, look at us bringing it all together. You can do a flick on beat one. Then flick. Of course, having a low G accentuates that more, but I think if you don't have low G, it'll still sound really beautiful. No, it is the low G. It is a low G. Mary, what happened? Did I miss a, a comment? That song's make me cry thinking of my late fiance. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Oh, let's all send red hearts to Mary's fiance. And let's dedicate this song to Mary's fiance, okay? Let's play it together as a dedication. Here we go. I'll say remember, come in on me. One, two, one, two, three. Remember me. song what a beautiful song thank you acroman you got a photo now what and let's drink to acroman and let's drink to elisa for their super chats let's drop some hearts and mary we are with you okay so um we learned a lot today and even though the song had easier chords than what we've done, we've played a lot of time. And we've built up our endurance for how long we can play. So give yourselves a nice stretch right now. Stretch and breathe, stretch and breathe. Um, the brand of the low G strings is Dadario. And if you type in low G ukulele, like low G ukulele Bernadette, a video will come up where I, I compare low and high G and in the links uh, there. I have it linked there. But I'll link it here once this video gets re-uploaded too. And yes, they do tune the same. It's just going to sound really lower. So basically on a ukulele, look at the piano real quick. You have this. <laughs> but you have sounds. Right? Basically what you're doing with um, the low G is you're adding a range. You're at, so whereas your ukulele strings just are right here in this little range, um, and of course you can go higher, but you can't go lower. When you add low G, you're adding boom, 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 boom. So you're adding that range of notes and that is really fun. Low G is cool. Does anyone know if ukulele festivals exist? Where in the world do you live, Elisa? I'm wondering if the unwound low G gives a buzz to the ukulele because I feel a buzz in my low G tenor. Also, I realized that my buzz was coming from the zipper on my dress. <laughs> Very smart, Bernie. But it could be the little piece. 
Um, for me, like, I have to double check. It could be that like I have this little piece right here and that might be buzzing when I'm playing. Can I use my index finger permanently as a bed to support you otherwise slipping? I wouldn't say permanently. I think that you have to think of your hand as static and adjust depending on the chords. Will you do lives throughout the quarantine? Yes, that is the goal, to do lives throughout quarantine. I may take a break here and there or have some kind of appointment or something to do, just like life happens to all of us. Um, but other than that, I'll let you know ahead of time that, um, that I'm not gonna be here. Um, so tomorrow's Bella Chow, uh, Saturday's Nora Jones, and how would low G be good on the Enya 25, your blue you have, you have used? I think that would work. Um, I would, yeah, that would work, I think. I ordered my lockdown t-shirt, can't wait to get it. I have one too that should be in the mail soon. This is awesome what you're doing this for us. Thank you. You guys are doing it for me too. I mean, think like all the people who are dedicating their time to come mm -hmm. every single day and or as much as possible and practice and give feedback and be active in the chat and it's doing wonders for the channel. Like we just hit 200,000 subscribers when we were on quarantine, we hit 210 and now we hit 220. So that's amazing. And I'm sorry about the delay in the mail. I think what's happening now is that a lot of people are doing online ordering since so many people are in quarantine. So things are taking longer than usual. I'm sorry about that. Lockdown t-shirt. Yeah, there's uh, links down below for, oh, could get sneezed, for lockdown merch. Um, Van designed it. designed it. Van is one of the moderators. Do you need a different nut for low G? Um, you should look at the width of the strings. Uh, I, it'll be there. So thankfully for my wound one, I did not need. Uh, I did not need that. I've heard a kilo reds. Also, you don't need them. Thank you. I've been watching every day, but streaming on the TV, so not able to say hi. You've helped me so much. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you to all the people who are watching from their TVs and can be active on the chat. I'm thinking of you and I'm so grateful for you too. I hope that you're enjoying these little mini lessons. Well, they're not mini. What are they? These lockdown live sessions, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna go remove that D cord from our printable. And I'm gonna listen to the the is version of this song to see if we need that extra FC. So definitely double check the printable. Okay. This does cure my boredom here. It's like, honestly, probably the only reason why I've showered and done my hair and makeup every single day. I think I would have done it here and there, but like, I'm like, no, I have to get ready. I have to look presentable. Te miro en directo desde Mallorca, Spain. Thank you. Um, uh, so this is helping me too. And you know, like when you shower and put yourself together, you feel better. So bye Rita. So this helps me to feel better as well. Son las 23, 12 horas. Mangia. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and it does good purpose, right? Yeah. Stay safe everyone, like Noah says. Drink lots of liquids and then come back tomorrow for Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Chow, Chow. Woo! Uh, Michelle Doherty just sent $5 on PayPal. Let's give some hearts to Michelle. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who gave this video a like. Thank you to everyone who watched it. Thank you to everyone who was sugar daddy and sugar mama <laughs> giving uh, tips here and on Venmo. Somebody sent one on Venmo too. Hearts love drinking to you. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Hearts. Have fun practicing this one, but remember to rest and I'll see you in tomorrow's live stream. Sayonara.